Welcome to lesson on class 5 leadership of the ISO 21001 standards. This lesson explains with examples the requirements to fulfill the class 5. Let's understand some terminologies related to leadership. Leadership is the ability to motivate groups of people towards a common goal. Management is a person or a group of people or persons who have the control of an organization at the highest level. They delegate authority and provide resources. Top management is the de facto leader of the organization. Policy. Policy are intentions and directions of an organization formally expressed by the top management. There are three sub clauses under leadership with the first two having more sub clauses. 5.1 is on leadership and commitment with 5.1.1 is on general, 5.1.2 is on focusing on learners and beneficiaries while 5.1.3 is on special needs education. 5.2 is on policy, 5.2.1 is developing the policy while 5.2.2 is communicating the policy. 5.3 is on organization roles, responsibilities and authorities. Commitment. Top management shall demonstrate leadership and commitment by showing these evidences. Accountable for the EOMS, Education Organization Management System Effectiveness. By establishing policy and objectives in line with the organization context and strategic direction. Their EOMS requirements should be integrated to the organization business process. By promoting process approach and risk based thinking. By making available resources for the efficient running of the EOMS. Should communicate the importance of effective education organization management and of conforming to the EOMS requirements so that all in organization are committed to the same and ensure that EOMS outcomes are achieved. Let's continue on the commitment of the top leadership. Leadership engages, supports and directs person to contribute to the effectiveness of the EOMS. They promote continual improvement and support other relevant management roles in EOMS to demonstrate their leadership as it applies to the areas of responsibility. Support the sustained implementation towards the educational vision. Establish, develop and maintain strategic plan for the organization. Show that the learners requirements including special needs are identified and addressed. Consider principles of social responsibility. The Open University in UK is committed to student learning that impacts society. Let's check our ISO standards knowledge on the requirements of leadership by scanning this quiz. Moving on, the learner focus. The focus on learners and other beneficiaries should be directly under the responsibility of top management. The commitment to this is demonstrated under two headings. The needs and expectations of learners and other beneficiaries are determined, understood and consistently met. This should be evidenced by the regular monitoring of the satisfaction of the learner and their educational progress. The risks and opportunities that can affect the learner's progress and satisfaction should be determined and addressed adequately. Again, another quiz which is again on Open University. The Open University in UK is committed to ensuring students are represented in the governing bodies. Let's check our standards knowledge on the requirements for leadership towards student needs determination and its address. Scan for the quiz. 5.1.3 Special Needs Education Requirements addresses the requirement fulfillment by the top management on the special needs learners. The special needs learner. The learner's need is not adequately addressed through the learn, regular learning and assessment activities. These learners could have different exceptionalities like behavioral, communicational, intellectual, physical, giftedness or more than one. 
the top management should ensure that resources and training are available to support access in the learning environment for the special needs students as well as they have to ensure that reasonable reasonable accommodation in all sense for the special needs learners are provided so that they have equitable access to learning as other learners clause 5.2 has two sub clauses developing policy is 5.2.1 and communicating the same as 5.2.2. The 5.2.1, the top management should establish, review and maintain an educational policy that addresses the following. Support the organization mission and vision. The policy which is framed is appropriate to the context of the organization. Provide a framework for the establishment of educational organization objectives. The policy commits to satisfy the applicable requirements. Also commit to continually improve the EOMS. Let's continue on developing policy requirements. Take into account the developments in technology, educational and scientific in the framing of the policy. Commit to satisfy the social responsibility requirements. Commit to manage intellectual property. Consider the needs and expectations of the interested parties. Going on to the quiz related to 5.2.1 clause. The University College London UCL is one of the world's leading institution. Let's check our understanding on the ISO standards on the requirements for leadership on policy. Scan for the quiz. Communicating policy. The sub clause 5.2.2 is concerned on communicating the policy. The policy should be available and maintained as documented information. The policy is communicated, understood and applied in the organization. The policy should be available to the relevant interested parties. The clause 5.3 is on roles, responsibilities and authorities in the educational organization. The requirement is for the top management to ensure that the responsibilities and authorities for relevant roles are assigned and communicated within the organization. The assignment is to ensure the following. UOMS conforms to the requirements. Policy is understood and implemented. The processes of the UOMS deliver the intended outputs. The report on the performance of UOMS are reported and identified areas for improvement. Let's continue on the roles and authorities. To ensure the promotion of a focus on learners and other beneficiaries, ensuring integrity of AMS is maintained when changes are done, ensure the organization's communication is managed properly, all learning resources are integrated, and there's a control of documented inform information and to ensure that the requirements of learners with special needs are properly managed. Quiz on 5.3. The University Council of the UCL is the highest governing body. It delegates roles, responsibilities and authorities at the highest level of governance. Check the quiz on delegation of roles, responsibilities and authorities. Thank you for this lesson. Our next lesson will be on class 6 which is on planning.